is Insider Medicine in 60 from Boston. According to a report published in the New England Journal of Medicine, patients with advanced dementia should be considered to have a terminal illness. Researchers studied over 300 patients in various nursing homes who were suffering from advanced dementia. They found the death rates of advanced dementia patients were nearly as high as some end-stage cancers. From Atlanta, the CDC has updated its H1N1 protection guidelines for health care workers across the globe. Specifically, the CDC is recommending that health care workers use N95 respirators to best prevent transmission of the influenza. If these masks are not available, the CDC maintains that surgical masks can be used instead. And finally, from Michigan, according to a report published in the American Journal of Rankinology, patients suffering from severe H1N1 flu are at an increased risk for pulmonary embolism. Researchers studied imaging results of over 60 patients, 14 of whom required mechanical ventilation. Results showed that five of these patients suffered from a pulmonary emboli compared to none of the 52 patients with a less severe form of the flu. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.